So I'm going to introduce uh, linear inequalities using a little problem. Okay? Let's say that we've got two mobile phone tariffs. Um, if we had something like uh, one tariff said that, okay, well, if you start off paying um, uh, a, a charge of £50, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to charge you £10 for each month, Okay, and another tariff says, well, I'm not going to give you an upfront fee, but I will just be paying you, uh, charging you um, £15 a month. Okay, so you've got this one charge which is just charging you £15 a month, which would look something like that. And then you've got this other charge of £50 plus £10 a month which would look something like this. Okay, starting off about £50. Okay. And at some point, uh, for a certain number of months, um, you will have these two lines meeting at some point. Okay. So, obviously for this case, this is a very simple case, so I'm going to divide down into parts of a month. Okay. So, um, at what point does uh, the 15x, this second tariff, when does that become greater than the other tariff? Okay, so it's all about when we're dealing with intersection of two lines, like we've worked through in uh, the first chapter for linear graphs. Um, it's all about simultaneous equations and putting these two equations together. Effectively, that's what I'm doing here. Okay, um, So I put one equal to the other. They're not equal because we've got this inequality symbol. But remember, we can deal and solve inequalities in much the same way as you solve equations. So I can take 10x from both sides. And then I can divide both sides by 5. And because I'm dividing by a positive number, the inequality sign doesn't change. So x is greater than 10. Okay? So this point is 10. Okay? So it's after 10 months does this charge um, start charging me more than this tariff. Okay, so this, the second tariff starts ch charging more than the first tariff after 10 months. Okay, and that's how, you know, linear inequalities can be developed into a uh, practical problem. So the next few videos I'm just going to solve um, some linear inequalities just to show you how it works.